What is going on guys, Zero Fusions here and welcome to another Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare video. Today I'm doing my first episode of a 5 part series and as you can probably tell by the title I'm going to be comparing the heal stations for Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare that the scientist can use. I'm sure most of you are aware that we got a brand new Cheetos DLC that you needed to enter a code in to get the brand new characters and abilities and in this DLC we did actually get 5 new abilities. So in today's video I'm going to be comparing the three heal stations that we got, that is the normal heal station, we have the armoured heal station and we also have the cheetah heal station. Each one of these is completely different, they have their own special reason of why you would want to use them, so I'm going to be going in detail in this video talking you through all the information you want to know. So let's start at the original heal station that we got. The heal station, once you put it down on the floor, will actually last for 20 seconds. That means you can have up to 20 seconds of healing your teammates or yourself. Not that it would take 20 seconds to heal yourself, but that healing station will stick around for 20 seconds. It takes 30 seconds to reload, so once you've used that heal station, you have to wait 30 seconds before you can place another one down. And of course the most important part about the heal station is how fast you can heal your teammates and yourself. I actually decided to go from a half health scientist to full health and time how long it takes and for the normal heal station it takes 5 seconds. Now it is hard to judge how much health each healing station has but I'm going to say it is in the middle of the cheetah heal station and the armoured heal station. So a quick summary about the normal heal station, it lasts on the ground for 20 seconds, it takes 30 seconds for the ability to replenish so you can use it again, it takes 5 seconds to replenish a zombie by 50 health and it is an average amount of health before it will be destroyed. So now that we've took a look at the normal heal station, let's jump straight over at the armoured heal station. Now it does actually say in the description on the game that it has one slight weakness, it is prone to self-destruct after a short while, but I had a look at this and compared it to the normal heal station, and this one also lasts 20 seconds on the floor. So this one lasts on the floor the exact same amount of time as the normal heal station. It also takes 30 seconds to reload before you can use the ability again. It also has a lot more health than the normal heal station, so it takes a lot longer for a plant to be able to destroy the heal station. The only downside to this heal station is that it takes a lot longer to heal each player. It takes 10 seconds to put 50 health on a normal zombie, whereas the normal heal station takes 5, so it takes twice as long to heal a zombie than the normal heal station. But take in consideration the amount of health that it has, so it's going to be a lot longer for it to be destroyed by the plants, and it lasts on the ground the same amount of time. So a quick summary of the armoured heal station, it lasts on the ground for 20 seconds, it also takes 30 seconds for the ability to replenish, unfortunately it takes 10 seconds to heal a zombie by 50 health, so that means that when it's on the ground for 20 seconds it will only heal a zombie by 100 health, but of course it has that amazing amount of armour so it's going to be almost impossible for a plant to destroy the heal station. So we're now going to take a look at the third and final heal station, the Cheetah Heal Station. It lasts on the ground 5 seconds less than the other two heal stations, so it only lasts for 15 seconds on the ground. Do not fear though, because the heal rate of this Cheetah Station is the fastest of them all. It takes 3.2 seconds to heal 50 health on a zombie, which is absolutely insane. It's 1.8 seconds faster than the normal heal station, and that is a lot faster than the armoured heal station. So even though it's only on the ground for 15 seconds it heals a lot faster. It also takes 30 seconds for the ability to replenish so there is no difference in how often you can actually put the heal station down. I also believe there is less health in this heal station than the other two so if a plant is going to be shooting at this heal station it will get destroyed a lot faster than any of the other ones. So that is the downside to it but because of the heal rate this is my favourite heal station overall. So a brief summary of every single heal station, the normal heal station and the armor heal station last for 20 seconds on the ground, whereas the cheetah heal station lasts for 15 seconds. Each of these heal stations takes 30 seconds to replenish, so you cannot use one or the other faster than the others. The heal rates, the cheetah is way, way faster, it takes 3.2 seconds to heal, the normal one takes 5 seconds, and the armored one takes unfortunately 10 seconds to heal 50 health on a zombie. And also, for the actual amount of damage that each heal station can take, I believe that the cheetah one has the least amount of damage, the normal one is in the middle, and the armored heal station is going to be almost impossible for the plants to destroy. 
So we have now covered everything in this ability comparison video. If you found this video useful, please drop a like below because it really helps my channel and I'm going to be doing one of these for every brand new Cheetos ability that we got. So thank you for sticking around for the video if you've come this far. My name is Xerix Fusions and I'll catch you guys next time.